Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to use Emiprompt Builder on a web browser. So the first step you want to do is open your browser. Then you'll type in emiprompt.com. Or you can just Google search Emiprompt and it should be the first result. Next, you're going to navigate on the top right and click on Builder. Here we have four tabs available, which are text, filters, image, and params. Depending on how simple or complex you want your prompt to be, you can use as many or as little options as needed. So in the first step in using any prompt builder, you will type in your text. Your text can be an idea or anything you'd like to imagine and bring to light. For this example, I'm going to type in woman teacher. You'll notice that on the left side column, it has automatically saved your text as your prompt. You can also add another body of text underneath your first one if you'd like to add another idea in addition to your first prompt. So I'll type in wearing glasses. Next, you can navigate to the filters tab. Here you have a wide range of filters you can add within your prompt. In one of the first filters, you can customize layouts, which refers to the way visual elements are structured or arranged. And you'll also notice that you have a preview of what each option would look like within layouts. Every option is also listed alphabetically. To demonstrate this, I'm going to select album cover and show you the difference of what a regular prompt would look like versus a prompt with a filter. So here, I'll copy and paste woman teacher wearing glasses into a Discord channel that has a Minjourney bot in it. So in this case, I'm going to use Emmy's Discord server. Then I'm going to go back to Emmy's prompt builder and select album cover. I'll copy and paste it here again, and let's compare to see what the difference would look like. Okay. So after our pictures have been created, here is what a woman teacher with glasses looks like by the text itself. And here is a woman teacher with glasses after the filter with an album cover would look like. Depending on what you're looking for, you can shape or adjust your choices based on what you want. So here, I'm going to go through these different tabs. Textures can add depth or dimensions to a prompt. Colors help create a more engaging and visual appealing prompt. A wide variety of artists are at your disposal and all these other options that you can play around with and help build your prompt. You can also upload your image using Imgur and adjust your params has never been easier. Switching to V5, you can adjust your aspect ratios and more. Start exploring today and enhance your text to image skills with this powerful tool. That's it for today, guys. If you have any other questions regarding on how to use a specific tool, please let us know in the comments below. See you next time.